Now, as we expect, most of the solutions that we encounter are are non-ideal. Okay, and in the non-ideal category, we have basically, basically. So, 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 what are the non-ideal solutions? First of all, in terms of the Raoult's law, they are those which do not obey it over the entire range. So, they do not obey Raoult's law over the entire range. they do not obey the Raoult's law over the entire range. So, so what does it mean? It means just by knowing the mole fraction and their and their what does Raoult's law use? Pressure. Hmm? What pressure? vapor pressure in pure state that means just by by knowing the vapor pressure in the pure state and the mole fractions you will not be able to tell me the vapor pressure that is being exerted by by the solution right so <clears throat> so 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 that means there is a deviation from what we actually expect from the ideal solution in ideal solution there is just the algebraic sum of them so what happens here we have two types of non ideal solution two types of non ideal solution non ideal solution what are they number 1 one is having the positive deviation okay so we have a positive deviation non ideal solution non ideal solution and the and the negative deviation non ideal solution okay now what does that mean what does that mean it means nothing it, it it just tells me so so i'm dealing with the first kind positive deviation non ideal solution okay it is the positive deviation non ideal solution And what happens say this is what we expect from an ideal solution right why should we expect this from an ideal solution then immediately it becomes clear why we should expect the deviation from the ideal solution what is vapor pressure composed of the capacity of the of the molecules in the liquid phase to escape the surface correct why should they escape the surface due to the thermal energy gained from the ambience right from the environment now when they are as a a that is the pure component then see we had said the ideal solution is when the a 
A A B B and A B interactions are the same. So if the A A interactions are the same, then the then the probability of it getting converted into the vapor phase is the same when it becomes an A B. Because it is nothing but the but the escape of the molecules which is actually adding to vapor pressure. Right. The the more it evaporates, the more is your vapor pressure. P V is equal to N R T, is it not? It it goes, it becomes gaseous, vapor pressure is gaseous pressure. So, so the more the number of molecules that evaporates, more is the pressure. Now, it becomes very simple for us to understand that if, if, if that means even if they are mixed, the A B interactions that have formed, they are of exactly the same nature as it was when it was either A A or A B, right? So, so what happens? This is an, this is the ideal solution. Now I say there is a positive deviation. What do we mean by that? What do we mean by positive deviation? That means whatever you are expecting from the Raoult's law, the vapor pressure will become more than that. What does that mean? It means that AB interactions are weaker than either of A and BB because that is what that is it that is what makes them more probable in getting converted into the vapor phase if they are not being held tightly by the by the same amount as their by by the same 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 force by the same strength as the originals then their then their propensity to evaporate becomes more no? Their tendency to evaporate becomes more. Then why not A and B B remain in the form that they were? Mm -hmm. Why not A A and B B remain in the form that they were initially? No, because they they'll start interacting. No, they become so closer that some otherwise see otherwise there is not a solution. It is like like water and petrol. When when they don't do that, then they are absolutely segregated. So you'll find a blob of maybe A A into B B. So, you will be able to see fine. There is one whole A and there is another B B and they are absolutely segregable. When we are talking about solutions, we are talking about the about the tendency of the liquids to mix. Otherwise, it is not a solution. Solution has to be homogeneous at the molecular level. Correct. Fine. So, so what happens if they are if their tendency is to deviate from here, there is a, say a, I am showing a very exaggerated one, fine. There is a tendency to deviate in the positive direction, okay. So, how does that come? It means the positive pressure of the whole solution is more than what is to be expected. Yes. It is more than what you expect otherwise, right? And so it is something like that, right? So, so, so it's a simple thing to understand when the expected, when the observed partial pressure is more than is more than the expected partial pressure when the observed partial pressure is more than the expected when the observed sorry vapor pressure is more than the sum of the expected vapor pressures from the two components
correct the solution is said to be a non ideal solution with positive deviation with positive deviation okay example example of that is it's an all and acetone another example carbon disulfide and acetone okay so one example the other example so this is the first point now why should that happen we have already discussed when ab interactions are weaker than aa or a sorry bb interactions it becomes a positive deviation solution don't write this in your exam i am just using a short shortcut version of that now okay now what does that mean what does that mean it means that the delta h is if they are weaker so delta h is it's endothermic right and delta v so delta v is greater than zero mm -hmm. the volume will increase why because the molecules are not so tightly bound so you mix 500 and 300 and you get 820 ml suddenly but when the pressure is more it pressure wave partial vapor pressure is more than why not why won't they exist in vapor form and the volume will be lesser right no not in that sense <coughs> see you take two things you mix them and you you measure not after the evaporation has taken place evaporation is not so much right it's not as some 20 ml of the whole thing will But evaporate that is only the partial vapor pressure exists but but evaporation itself is a very minuscule part of the whole right so it will hardly you will hardly be able to measure the the reduction in the volume right vapor pressure is not kind of that half the liquid evaporates it does not happen like that okay <coughs> fine so 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 why does so hope you understand why why it happens right so the tendency of ab interactions to become a vapor vapor is more than any of the components 
it's pretty, pretty commonsensical, right? <clears throat> now here, what happens with ethanol and acetone? Ethanol, as as you must have observed, has got got a got a lower boiling point than water, right? It has lower boiling point than water, and is it not? And and still higher than expected. Why? Due to hydrogen bonding. Okay. So in ethanol, in ethanol, the molecules are. hydrogen bonded on mixing with acetone the acetone molecules come in between and the hydrogen bonding becomes weaker why should it become weaker because of steric hindrance okay steric hindrance because for, for the sheer reason that that the two alcohol molecules will not be able to come very near to each other and that's all it is ultimately you want an electrostatic attraction right so so hope hope you you understand what i'm trying to say So this is del minus and this is del plus and the other molecule obviously the other molecule this interaction correct hmm? Mm -hmm. Ethanol. This is ethanol, and this is how they are bonded. Now, if in between, if in between something comes in, obviously it hinders, right? So, so that electrostatic attraction becomes less. Same with, same with carbon disulfide and acetone. Okay, so that is the reason why, why they are deviating in a positive manner. <coughs> Mm-hmm. 